Hi there, my name's Andrew Adams from Parker Adams Boat Sales. We're here on the beautiful, idyllic banks of the River Hamble, and behind me we have something a little bit different. We're selling a houseboat. This is a 1927 Stevenson Dumb Barge. The reason it's called a Dumb Barge is because it doesn't have an engine, but why would you need an engine when it lo is located in one of the most beautiful little backwaters of the Hamble River. This is really, really special. Down below, you can see a really cozy living space down here. You've got a lovely sized bedroom, a beautifully appointed bathroom, and the kitchen, this is really something out of a little country cottage. It's really very special. So really excited to bring you the rest of this walkthrough tour. Stay tuned and you'll see the rest of the video. Before you get started, check out our Parker Adams Superstore with loads of main brands for upgrading your boat, such as Raymarine, Garmin and Fusion. Check it out after this video. OK, so let's start off on the outside of this barge. You can't ignore the location. So, of course, this goes up and down with the tide. It rests on the mud when it goes down to um, low water and then it floats again. So that'll happen twice a day. But when it's high tide on a morning like this, I cannot think of anywhere I'd rather be than sitting up there having a cup of coffee looking at the Hamble River. In terms of getting onto the boat, you have this walkway which goes across, uh, across the river here. And then, being honest, I would probably put some form of guardrail or something down here. It's a little bit precarious. If I fall in, it'll make a good video. That's all I'm going to say. So if we walk along here, you can just hold onto the planter here and then grab hold of this next step here. And then you work your way up to the steps. And then you find yourself in what is a really, really nice aft deck area. Now, the current owner, I believe it's the current owner, has added um, these covers which go all the way around. So if it's a horrible day, you can enclose this off but still have this fantastic view. If you come forward and just have a little look at what you see when you wake up in the morning here, it really is absolutely beautiful. And of course, you've got free dinner as well because you can do fishing off the back of here. It's a lovely spot to catch some fish. So it's a really, really beautiful, idyllic spot to be. Um, this boat is on two levels. So the first level is up here. So this area, you could have little sun pads up here. Um, you could have chairs, barbecues, anything like this up at this top area. But then what you've got is you've got effectively what feels like a wheelhouse. So as we step into here, um, you've got an additional seating area at the top here, which is kind of a second lounge, but it's a bit like a summer house up here. There's a television, there's heating, there's a wood-fired um, burner there, and this would be the most incredibly cosy place to be. I can imagine here in the middle of a gale in the winter, it would be so lovely to sit here and watch a movie with a wood-fired um, burner on. So everything about this boat is cosy and has a lovely feel to it. So this is, say, this is the upper um, area, but of course most of the living accommodation on board this boat is downstairs. Now, getting downstairs, you have good access in terms of handrails, but it is quite steep to come down here. So what I'll do is we'll cut the video and show me go down. So we'll start off from me going down there. You can see, just grab hold of the, the handles there, but I'd rather Nick didn't film it when he was coming down here. So what I'll do is we'll cut to me being downstairs. So because we're on a boat, I'm tempted to call this a galley, but I guess it's more of a kitchen. So um, I mentioned that this really would feel at home in a, in a little country house or country cottage. It is the most really special little kitchen. Um, so you have all of these really nice sunken um, sinks here. It's a big sink for your washing up. There's a microwave here. And I just like the fact that it's very, very rural, rustic. You've got all this natural wood everywhere. But at the same token, you've got this quite modern um, frieze here, which has got tiles, uh, which have got a pebble effect, which is all plastered in, which looks very, very smart. But this little galley kitchen, um, it really is, I just really like it. I think it's the sort of place that you could make some really nice meals. You've got a pretty extensive um, range um, oven in here. Nice thing about this range, some range ovens have just one big opening door. This has got lots of different sections, so you can cook your bread, your mince pies, anything you wanted into the side. Um, then, of course, you've got a griddle plate on the top and then four burners on there as well. So really, really well appointed. As for the rest, this is, this is the main living accommodation on board the boat. Um, you have here a sofa. This is, I would say, a three or four person sofa. And they've got the most amazing sound system. I'm guessing that won't be staying with the boat. But you've got an incredible sound system. It's all surround sound on here. So sitting down here in the evening uh, watching a movie would be a really cosy place to be. Um, all the flooring is very natural, there aren't any carpets, it's all wood, but, but remember this boat has also been insulated, so there's been foam insulation that's been put throughout this boat. So although it's a 1927 boat, it has been extensively renovated over the years, particularly in the last 25 years when the previous owners lived on board it for 20, then in 2016 it had a lot of refurbishment work. 
Um, you've got another wood burner down here. So this is an enormous wood burner here. Uh, that would pump out an incredible amount of heat during the winter, which would keep uh, this very, very toasty and warm. Um, this boat was actually used for a couple of years as a home office, so you can see a setup just down here. Shows how versatile this boat could be in terms of living on board it, working on board it. Um, there's a Starlink on it, so you have incredibly fast internet connection, um, courtesy of Elon Musk. Um, and so it's a nice little seat there, dual monitor setup, uh, which just allows the person really easy working. We keep moving around to the, um, the back of the barge. In fact, I say the back, it feels like the back. It's the front of the barge. We go to the front of the boat. Um, this is the utility area. So you've got here, you've got a washer, dryer, and got a tumble dryer, washing machine. Um, you've got cupboards, you've got space to put um, irons, anything that you need. There's another fridge up here. Of course, you've got more windows here as well. You've got a, bit of, a little bit of curtain put onto those as well, but you've got windows underneath there as well. And then through in here, you have a quite nicely appointed bathroom. Um, some binging here. What's that? Oh, I oh, hit the bells there. Uh, so here is a really nice, it's a big shower room in here. Um, obviously you've got full standing height in here and I really like that. It's a countertop sink, but it's huge. I think that's pretty cool. Um, obviously you've got, the, you've got the heads, you've got the toilet, you've got this double sized sink and then just behind the door here you've got a double sized shower with a massive shower head. So it's, um, it's pretty nice for creature comforts in here and I like the sort of shabby chic style throughout the boat um, barge even. I'm so used to saying boat, it's a barge, um, with the, the mirrors there as well. Um, as you walk further forward, um, you've got access through here. Uh, it's closed off at the moment, but you can get access to the front of the barge here. And then there's also a storage cupboard in here. I won't go in there at the moment, but there's a pretty large area and there's lots and lots of stuff in there. So if you are living on board, that's effectively your loft space is at the front of the barge there. So as we walk back through, this will give you a really nice feeling for just how the, the headroom height is. Oh, Jonathan always says he's six foot, not quite that tall, but I think Jonathan would just about stand up here. He might struggle here. So there's about five foot ten's worth of clearance um, as you walk through this area here. But I have to say it's beautifully appointed. It's been kept very, very well. Um, no one's living on it at the moment, but there's a, um, there's a cleaner that comes on board a couple of times um, a month who just keeps it all spick and span. And it really does feel very, very fresh um, and well kept in here. So let's show you the master cabin. So this is the main bedroom. And again, you've got a really good amount of space. The headroom height is good here because it, it gets higher in the middle. So there's a, a lifting top, which I think is all sealed in. But um, in the past, you may have been able to lift that top off to open this up. So you've got lots of air coming through. I probably should say, excuse my voice at the moment. I've, um, I'm just getting over a little bit touch of man flu um, and I've not been feeling so well the last few days and I'm a bit croaky. I haven't spoken this much for a few days, so hopefully I'll be able to hold on till the end. You can tell it's man flu, it's that serious. Um, so the bed is up here and it's quite cool because you actually feel like you're sleep sleeping on a bit of a shelf there. Um, the bed has been literally cut in um, to the wood, but it's really cosy. This is obviously the stern of the barge and you've got that lovely shape all the way around there uh, with the bed and they've also got windows to the stern so you wake up and you can look out and see the beautiful Hamble River as well. Um, in terms of a comment, um, what's left, um, may well be taking these but you can see how um, chest of drawers can be put in and um, there's a trunk there for storage. There's a, another storage room inside here. Um, now this is quite a good space in here. This <laughs> I would say it's a walk-in wardrobe. That might be a little generous, but it's pretty much what it is. Um, so you can see lots of hanging space inside there um, and loads of areas for clothes, etc. So I think what we should do is go back upstairs because that is probably the main feature of this um, boat sitting here on the Hamble River. And I'll run through some of the practicalities um, about living here as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this walk around of this 1927 Dun Barge. It is a really special little place to live and the location is really idyllic. So just a little bit about the location. If you pan around here, um, you'll see that there's quite a few other barges down here. I think there's about 10 in total. So there's a nice liveaboard community down here and we really are right in the heart of the Hamble River. In terms of access you get up here we're, we're effectively in sort of a lower Swanwick area here and it's all a gated so it's very very safe to come into. Uh, you drive over the top of the railway line, um, come into a safe gated car park 
and you also have a shed for storing bits and bobs out there as well. Um, and then you walk to the boat around a boardwalk, um, which is across the marshland. So it is, it's got a lovely special feel to it. In terms of the costs, the price of the boat is located just below the video, so you'll see how much that is there. Um, in terms of rental, you pay £950 a month, so that's the rental cost um, to have the berth here on the handle. Um, but you do also have the option of having a rib or something just attached to the side of it. Now, let's look at that as being a free berth for a second. Uh, that's a fantastic thing to have, because if you live on board this boat, and constantly looking at the handle, let's face it, you're going to want to go out onto the water. You're about 20 minutes from cows here. So if you have a rib or something just attached to the side of the boat, you can nip over to the Isle of Wight, explore the Hamble River, and the Hamble would quite literally become your back garden. So it's a really special place and somewhere, I think actually, a lot of people would, would give their right arm to live somewhere like this. And if you look at the cost of it, actually, it's incredibly cost effective to live somewhere like this in a pretty amazing location. So I think I've covered just about everything and um, we'd welcome anybody to come and have a look at this. It is a really, really special little barge in what is a very unique little part of the Hamble River. So I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough tour. Um, stay tuned, keep watching the videos and we'll put a little subscribe bell here. Do hit and subscribe to the videos um, and we look forward to bringing you the next boat or barge very, very soon. Many thanks.